For over a century now, we have not wanted to hear that the promises of prediction and control might be bankrupt. Not even wanting to admit the evidence of our own eyes. This is the Detroit Public Schools Book Depository, where the promises to the next generation were stored. This is what has happened to it. Trees growing out of the rotting remains of yesterday's dreams. All life is interrelated. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality, tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. As long as there is poverty in this world, no man can be totally rich even if he has a billion dollars. Martin Luther King, 1961, The American Born. dream is gone. Someone finally woke up, I guess. American dream is a piece of shit. The American dream is if you believe whatever Mr. George Bush says, he's full of crap. There's no more dream, you know. You're afraid to dream now. You try to work a minimum wage job, paying your gas, your mortgage, food, you can't do it. And I, I don't have no savings account, no, you know what I'm saying? I just live by the day. Basically, you can't. You can't get ahead around here. How do you tell your child we have nowhere to live? How can you tell your child we're not going to have anywhere to live? Wake up in the morning and tell your kid, oh, I, you can't eat dinner today because there's no money for it. That's unheard of because we can't pay our bill now. And it happens, though, by the day around here. Why is he getting thrown out of his house? I don't understand it. Because this is not making enough money. I mean, it's the bottom line. The, the loan, you didn't default on your loan. The loan defaulted on you. Well, you're right, you're making a payment. They charge you extra because you're late. I don't have money to begin with. How are you going to charge me more to be late? Because I, I, I ain't got the money. That's my penalty. It, it, it don't make no sense to me. It don't. There is no community anymore. It's basically everybody for himself around here. I don't know. I mean, Just no community? No. No, there is. How can there be a community? Look, that's empty, that's empty, that's empty. Where's the neighbors at? There is none. I mean, you got two on the corner, one on this corner there. You skip two houses, the next three houses are vacant across the street, then you have some down the street. So it's been very badly hit the area. Today, the rate of change is increasing, and our ability to predict has decreased. Is it any wonder we have become more anxious? I would say that the sorts of ideas that you're talking about in terms of chaos theory and butterfly effect and global warming and all those kind of things that are happening that are causing people anxiety, it's not just the words, it actually has an impact on how people think about their lives. It, it has an effect on what people look for in life and on how they kind of frame their thoughts and ideas about themselves and what they can control and what they can't control. What worries me is that this is really quite a nihilistic kind of vocabulary. It's a kind of a... It, it doesn't give people a sense that there is something that they can do. The problem with the mathematics of chaos is that it doesn't offer us a new plan for how to achieve what we want, prediction and control. It takes away what we want to believe, denies us the old icons of salvation, of freedom through growth, and gives us nothing comforting in return. We're all living in a much less predictable, more unstable world. The question is what we want to do about it. On the one hand, 
The economists insist that because we can't regulate and control the economy the way we used to think we could, our only salvation lies in obeying the market and going for growth. Anything else, they insist, will lead to economic chaos and collapse. On the other hand, the environmentalists say that it is precisely this unbridled economic growth which will push the world's natural systems to their own chaos and collapse, from which there will be no coming back. For most of the last hundred years, despite the warnings from mathematics and history, we have refused to see reality as it is. This is a picture generated by the mathematics of that reality. It is called a Lyapunov map. It shows not the orderly and predictable reality we always wanted, but an unstable and chaotic one. It is a distant descendant of Lyapunov's original work. The map shows regions of stability and others of chaos in a system. Between them are the points where the system can abruptly tip from one to the other. No one wanted to believe the economy could lurch from boom times to bust, but it has. No one wants to believe the climate could be approaching its own catastrophe, but when it does, it will affect us all, the rich, the poor, the guilty, and the innocent.